Hey guys, it's Piper, and today I'm going to be talking about you know who, and if you are tired of hearing about you know what, you are better off just muting me and enjoying the art, like, right now. Also, because I know if I don't say this, you'll just be wondering it the whole video anyway, I do not hate Melanie Martinez, and I am not drawing her choking to be sadistic, it's just an illustration based on the song Soap. I'm not a Melanie Martinez fan exactly, before this whole alleged alt fiasco, I actually kind of forgot about her other than the voice and pity party. I did end up getting into her music though last week, which is probably karma for my historic burning hatred of the song Carousel. I like her other songs, but I'm sure I'll get like at least one comment saying if I don't like Carousel, I can never be a fan or whatever. So congrats Martinez, you got at least one sale out of this whole mess. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have any money. Yo, X-Fans, instead of burning your expensive merch, how about you send it to my P.O. Box? Kidding again, I'm too poor for a P.O. Box. Okay, okay, time to get serious, I swear. Now, you may wonder why I'm staking my reputation so early in my career by defending somebody that I am not that invested in. Not that it's an unpopular opinion anymore, but some people might take this the wrong way. There are a couple reasons. One, I felt like drawing her after I heard the song Soap and what am I supposed to do? Not pair it with a commentary that will make her haters even angrier at me? Man, you know I'm not good at holding back on my commentaries. I also feel pretty bad for Martinez. I had a BFF who was a lot like Heller, and I know Martinez must be hurting a lot. And most of all, I am very disturbed by some of the comments I've heard from her younger fans. I'll get into that later because if you don't have some context for this, it won't make any sense. Bottom line, I believe in due process. I'm doing this because I think it's morally correct, and what else am I going to make a commentary on? since I barely know anything about Martinez outside of this shitstorm. For the most part, everybody sided with Martinez by now anyway, but I'll start from the beginning in case this is all new to you. I was like most people, when I first heard the news that Melanie Martinez raped her ex-best friend Timothy Heller, I read one article on it, said, oh my, that's awful, and went on with my day. But after months of this drama still going on, I realized I was being pretty unfair. I hate to say it, but I can think of at least three women off the top of my head. No, wait. No, four. Uh, that I know in real life who lied about being raped, and two were my friends. Keyword were, and I didn't even read either Martinez or Heller's official statements in a he said, she said case. I mean, this isn't like Harvey Weinstein or Bill Cosby. This is one person. So I looked closer and I realized her statement was actually full of holes and generally unrealistic. I myself am a sexual assault victim, I have friends that were sexually assaulted, and have heard the testimonies of tons of survivors, like, none of them used as many uncomfortable details as Heller, and I mean really uncomfortable details. And in case you didn't know, the most unnecessarily detailed a story about any topic is, the most likely it is to be a lie, but most people don't realize that. If you need an example, think about real versus forged parent notes to excuse their child for missing school or being late. Rape is so horrifying that it's hard to imagine someone lying about it. Every time I hear about it, I just instinctively believe the accuser, and I think about the awful things that happened to me. I'm not going to get into it now, or probably ever, but I was sexually assaulted multiple times by the same person before he raped me. <laughs> Fuck. Even saying that was hard. I'm done. I need a break. Be right back. Okay, are we recording now? Okay. Fuck. The short version of the alleged sexual assault is that during a sleepover, Heller smoked weed with Martinez, who raped her while they were baked. This left Heller in denial until a couple months after she dropped her first single years later and got no attention for it at all. Just saying the timing was super convenient, which is one of the many reasons I don't believe her. That's not evidence. I have a lot better things than that to say. Uh, just saying the timing was super convenient, that's not why I don't believe her. That could just be a coincidence. But there's so much evidence against Heller just from their social media timelines that I don't have time to get into it in this video. 
First, here are the major inconsistencies in Heller's story that stand out to me the most, aka the ones I can actually remember off the top of my head. While I'm talking, I want you to keep Occam's razor in mind for each point. If you haven't heard of Occam's razor, it's a principle from philosophy, and it's one of my favorites. Suppose there exist two explanations for an occurrence. In this case, the simpler one is usually better. Another way of saying it is the more assumptions you have to make, the more unlikely an explanation is. I bring this principle up because when I analyzed the evidence, Martinez being innocent required fewer assumptions than Martinez being guilty. Number one. At the time she claimed all of this happened, Martinez was performing in New York City while Heller was in Los Angeles, which is on the other side of the country. Or well, actually I think it was the day after that, but if you, either way, if you live overseas, you might not understand just how large America is, so let me put it this way. If you wanted to drive from the east to the west coast of the United States, it would take at least 42 hours with no stopping at all. No pee breaks, no staying overnight at a hotel, no getting lost. Just driving and taking caffeine pills. It takes most people four days to a week to make that drive. On a plane, it's six hours, or at least airlines claim it only takes six hours, but I, I think we all know better than that. Two, Martinez had blonde hair in her Instagram photos from that time, but in Heller's evidence photo, Martinez's hair is purple. Um, also, during her performances, Martinez had blonde hair, not purple. Three, there's tons of evidence on social media that they were friends for years after the alleged assault, from some from Heller's own words. You can look all that stuff up on your own. It's boring, and there are like a thousand occurrences, so pick one. For the fact that the sleepover lasted two nights to begin with, bitch, I was in denial too, but you think I stuck around another night to get raped again? Fuck no. Either she's lying or her amygdala is broken. Even if you're in denial, you still have survival instincts. Or maybe not, since five, she does have borderline personality disorder, which can fuck a person up in all sorts of ways, and that's not an assumption, it's a fact. Heller actually posted a video about her disorder, so we know she has it. Remember when I said I had a friend who was just like Heller? She also suffered from borderline personality disorder. Some of the diagnostic criteria are unstable interpersonal relationships, frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment, identity disturbances, paranoia, dissociation, inappropriate intense anger or difficulty controlling anger, unstable mood, impulsivity, and splitting, which is when you either love and idealize a person or hate their fucking guts with no in-between. Now those are just, they're all from my straight, <laughs> shit, my straight book. Those are from my textbook. Oh god. Now I'm not trying to shit on everyone who has borderline personality disorder. You can still be borderline and be a good person. Borderlines can be very captivating and they do make great friends, but they also make horrible enemies. You need to invest a lot more energy in a friendship with a borderline because they are very afraid of abandonment and they tend to have really shitty lives and may go off on you for what you perceive to be little to no provocation, but they'll think it's major. So, and they just, they can't help it. It's how their brain is wired. In other words, Heller doesn't really need a legitimate reason to take a swing at Martinez. She suffers from a really hard mental illness to deal with. So when Martinez told her she didn't have enough energy to be friends with her and focus on her music, Something Heller says happened, like what was it? I think, uh, I think Martinez said she went to see a psychic and she told her she had to stop being friends with Timothy if she wanted to win a Grammy, which sounds like a really bullshit excuse to dump a friend, like trying to make them not feel bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, this isn't funny. Okay, it kind of is. The psychic said we can't be friends anymore. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, Hiller was almost definitely pissed. I would be pissed, actually, but, I mean, borderline wrath, okay? It's bad. 
But if you're not content with that explanation from someone has, who has a psychology minor and first-hand experience, here's number six. Heller was a musician with virtually no fan base before all this, and now she has a cock ton of fans who followed her because they feel sorry for her. And, you know, rape victims, they tend to want to put this stuff behind them, but she still talks about it a lot. Like, whenever things slow down or Melanie posts something, she just, she keeps it going. Like, she needs the attention for it. And seven, if none of this can't be in two places at the same time, hair was an entirely different color, blah, 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 if none of that stuff matters to you. Um, there was a now-deleted picture on Heller's Instagram from 2016 where she dressed and posed like Martinez with, like, the two-tone hair and all. I'll post a picture of this so you know I'm serious. And she also tagged Martinez in this. Would you dress up like your rapist? No, nobody would. I'd decapitate my rapist and put his head on a pole outside of my castle door as a warning to the other rapist before I would even eat his favorite kind of chocolate, let alone dress like him. I mean, come on. Sorry, I'm getting really emotional. I, I legit just cannot talk about this without getting emotional. That's why I don't like talking about it. Okay, calm, zen place, zen place. Now, let's look at Martinez's statement. I heard it quoted simply as, she never said no, which sounded awful, which might even be, yeah, I think that's part of the reason I just believed it, like, as soon as it came out because I'm like oh my god what a stupid thing to say she never said no there were so many ways to say no without saying it but this actually ended up just being unfortunately worded it's cropped the full sentence reads she never said no to what we chose to do together personally I would have worded that as Heller and I had consensual sex because there is just no way to crop that in a way that would make me sound like a douchebag I mean I had consensual sex. Anyway, a lot of people were puzzled by her decision not to sue for slander. God knows I would have sued immediately. But even though I know almost nothing about Martinez so far, I know enough about psychology to analyze her statement, and it's very passive. Between that and what I saw of her on The Voice, I've just come to the conclusion that she's not very good at asserting herself and maybe believes if she continues to do the right thing that that will shine through. Instead, Martinez ends by, quote, sending her love and light always, unquote, instead of telling her to go choke on a dick like I would have. No, I actually, I wouldn't say that because I'd be pending a lawsuit and my statement would probably be blank and I had consensual sex lawsuit pending. In a second statement, she thanks her fans for finding all the evidence that defends her side of the story, but doesn't actively defend herself, really. Uh, I don't know, maybe she thinks Heller might take back her statement someday if she doesn't feel threatened. Uh, in the end, analyzing Heller's statements through Occam's razor reveals that she's much more likely to be lying than telling the truth. Now that that's all out of the way, here's what really freaks me out. So many of Martinez's fans are very young, and some of them still believe Heller in spite of all the holes in her story, but have decided that they don't care because it's okay to rape people. It's like cognitive dissonance. Or, no, it is cognitive dissonance. They know Martinez is a good person, but believe she's a rapist. They still listen to her music and support her, but believe she's a rapist. They have to solve this dilemma somehow. And instead of solving their behavior, like, I don't want to listen to Melanie Martinez anymore, or I don't want to support Martinez anymore, they solve this dilemma by deciding that rape is okay. If you see someone saying this, please remind them that Martina said in her second statement that it's heartless to invalidate a rape victim, paraphrasing, and she said she would never be intimate with someone without their absolute consent. Not paraphrasing, pretty sure that's actually exactly what she said, but I'm not going to look it up. If you go off on them, they will just get defensive, especially since most of them sound like teens and preteens, but it's not too late for them. Heller, like all people who lie about rape, really damaged the atmosphere of the hashtag MeToo movement. Or is it just called the MeToo movement? Oh, whatever. Anyway, she only contributed to rape culture by doing this. 
after what happened to me and some of my friends, I just can't with a good conscience say that we should ignore this issue. If you see a kid say something like this, please correct them, whether it's in person, online, whatever. Their parent clearly isn't watching them closely enough or isn't worth a shit to begin with. I also urge the media to stop being so biased on this situation. If you've ever covered this story, you may want to revisit it. I mean, the press can only do you good, and if you're part of the media and you somehow landed on this video, it's probably doing a lot better than I expected it to. <laughs> Just being honest. I don't really expect a lot of views on this. And lastly, I offer some advice to Miss Martinez on the extremely off chance that she happens across this video in the form of an open letter that she will never hear. Dear Melanie, you're a talented musician and I'm sorry your career and personal life have been damaged by what was probably your ex-bestie's cry for attention. I don't know the details, but as someone with similar experiences, I do have a few guesses. You may think that by being passive and not fighting back, everything will eventually go back to normal and maybe Timothy will even admit that she lied. As someone who was also hurt by a borderline best friend and who studied psychology, I can honestly say she likely won't cave unless you take legal action. She's most likely trying to get your attention and she's not going to stop until she gets it because borderlines hate being ignored more than anything. You may be afraid she'll hurt herself if you press charges, since borderlines are prone to self-injury and suicide. If any of this happens, though, it's not your fault or your responsibility. The best thing for Timothy is hospitalization and to be set free by the truth. Behind all the attention and fame she's getting on the surface, she is likely masking a lot of shame and anxiety, and until the truth comes to the surface, she will be trapped in this forever. Perhaps that's the punishment she deserves, but it sounds like you don't want that. This is also hurting your fan base who supports you as they're getting a lot of hate by association, so it's best to end the drama swiftly with a strong blow. It's lasted a long time and it's best for everyone if you stamp it out in the court of law while you still have the opportunity to do so. Sincerely, the weirdo who drew you coughing up soap bubbles. Okay, done. Uh, please respect my wishes not to share my story. It's been five years, but it still hurts, and uh, god, I should say something about the art too, so I can end on a not thinking about this note. <clears throat> uh, be right back. I was originally going to draw this from a side angle, but I couldn't find a reference picture of somebody gagging from any other angle, so I had no idea how to draw the hands. Hands are hard, okay? Uh, I was going to paint some soap suds on the soap, but I didn't want to draw too much attention away from the focal point. I mean, I guess I could have done it, but it would have taken me a really long time and a lot of experimentation -y. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, I'm free to check out more of her music, I guess, now and get to know her better since I've cleared it with myself that she's not a rapist. Um... If you disagree, feel free to blast me in the comments. That's what they're there for. I mean, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> but I mean what I said about correcting the tweens. It's really important. Uh, by the way, want to make a speed paint like mine don't know how? Take my Skillshare class! You can find a link and promotional code in my description. Two months for free. And you can probably take my class in 24 hours, so, uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty good deal, I think. <laughs> you can find the link and promotional code in my description. Either way, please rate and subscribe, and have a great day! See ya!